Well, to one of our favourite subjects, the reporting of science, and to a man who has worked hard to improve it, Dr. Carl Krizelinski. Dr. Carl loves to see where science can lead, but sometimes what's out there just isn't science. Our favourite science guru takes us through some of the stranger ideas that have been brought to his attention recently, starting off with a disputed idea of chemtrails and concerns about their purported effect on the food we eat. Last Sunday, Dr. Carl was on ABC Weekend Breakfast, debunking myths about chemtrails, which is what some crazy people call those fluffy white vapour trails that come out of jets, and which those same crazy people passionately believe are doing us harm. The government, they say, has put drums of chemicals in every single aeroplane that flies in the world. They're going to um, reduce the population and kill us, or they're going to stop global warming, which the governments really know apparently is happening and they're going to stop it, or they're going to turn us into what they call sheeple. So far, so good. Although, why you'd bother to debunk such nonsense, God only knows. But Dr Carl then made the mistake of picking on a particularly crazy website to attack. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful website called harddawn.com right. mm. and they're saying chemtrail free foods. The next so health people aspect. are actually buying this? They are buying it. Um, they, they, this is a sort of an extreme group here going with the... They also say that the chemtrails, uh, let me quote here, militant atheists using chemtrails to poison the angels in heaven. Hold on a moment, Carl. Poisoning the angels in heaven sounds like serious loony territory to me. But the good doctor went blithely on. And then they go even further that the chem that the um, chemtrails are causing FAMP. Facebook associated mind parasites. <laughs> are we smelling a rat here? Sadly, Dr. Carl was not. But the point is that the cure for it is potatoes and the potato growers are really big behind this thing. So this is part of the symptom of the loss of critical thinking that we're seeing in our society. So let's cut to the chase at last and ask how Dr Carl's critical thinking was functioning. Sadly, not very well. Because Hard Dawn is a spoof, as you can see from some of its other stories, like... Does gay marriage open the door to extraterrestrial sex tourism? And many atheists believe that eating puppy fetuses will cure their sexual impotency. Here's why they're wrong. Or indeed this one on the very subject Dr. Carl was discussing. A guardian angel's desperate plea. Stop spraying the heavens with chemtrails. So how on earth did Dr. Carl figure this website was real? Well, perhaps a bit like that Vegemite story he just wanted to believe. And in fact, he was still not convinced he'd been had when he spoke to MediaWatch. But finally, we persuaded him, and he sent us a message to say... Thanks so much for spending the time to explain it all to me. Hard dawn satire? Hoisted by my own petard. My bad. Sometimes the world isn't quite as crazy as you think.